Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's This Is How I Glyph, a series where we review scripts that have been written to automate specific tasks in PointWise or the entire meshing process. In this video, we're taking a look at uniform DOM refinement.glyph, a script that was written to perform uniform, unstructured domain refinement by subdividing triangles of an existing domain. To download the script, you can visit github.com forward slash pointwise forward slash uniform DOM refinement. And once here, you can click the clone or download button and then proceed to click the download zip button. This will download the script and the readme file all together and you can begin using it right away. Um, if you look through here, you can see that there is a user interface associated with this particular script and we're going to cover that in this video. Taking a look at the script, the part that I want to highlight is this procedure called refine all. This is the main procedure in the script. Now, a lot of this script, as you as you look through it, is going to be related to um, the user interface. About half the script is related to the user interface. The first half basically walks through the defining of procedures for writing the refined elements out to an STL file, um, projecting the newly created entities onto existing database entities. Um, this particular procedure basically calls all of those. So we start by defining the database entities that the current entities are projected onto, the original connectors, and then given the way that the user wants to actually refine the domains, because there are two technologies techniques, you can go ahead and specify one of those in the user interface and then the script will go and refine and then write the refined entities to an STL file. It'll then import that grid from this temporary STL file and then match the original connectors. It'll project the domains onto the original underlying geometry and then end the script. And you have the option to do several different things like smooth the grid or place the newly created entities in additional layers. And we'll go ahead and cover that in pointwise. Okay, so here we are in pointwise, and what you see up on the screen is the Honora M6 wing. It's relatively coarse right now because I'm going to go ahead and use this script to refine the upper surface, the upper domain of this geometry. So I'll start by executing the script. So I'll go to the script menu and click my uniform DOM refinement.glyph script. You'll notice that a user interface opens up and it's prompting me to either select from a list of entities or I can go ahead and click this button that says select from GUI and go ahead and pick the domains that I want to refine from the user interface. I'm going to go ahead and pick from the list. You'll notice that the upper surface has been selected, the upper domain, and I have several options. The, the first set of options are basically prompting me to decide whether I want to refine at edge midpoints or if I want to refine at element centroids. I'm going to demonstrate both of these, and we're going to start by refining at edge midpoints because this is going to allow us to retain the same character of the existing mesh. And, and you'll see exactly what I mean by that um, when we switch between these two. But we'll start by refining at edge midpoints. I'm going to specify two refinement steps, and I'll tell you why in just a moment. But you can specify how many you want. You can specify whether you want to smooth the refined entities at each step. Again, if you want to retain the same character of the mesh, I would recommend leaving smoothing turned off because it, with smoothing turned on, it's going to actually kind of migrate the nodes a little bit, um, and you're not actually going to get a nice uniform subdivision of the existing elements. Deleting original entities, you can choose to leave that on or off. I choose to leave that off so I can keep my original coarse mesh around if I need it. And then lastly, you can create the refined entities in the current working layer, or you can place them in empty layers. I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's a really nice way to organize the refined versions of the mesh, particularly if you're doing multiple refinement steps. So let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so it's gone ahead and done two refinement steps. So it placed them in uh, two separate layers, layer one and layer two. So layer zero contains the original mesh. Layer one, if we turn that on, you can see that it contains the refined mesh. Now, if I zoom in here, you can see exactly what it's done. It's refined at the edge mid node. So it's placed a node, or at, sorry, it's refined along the edges of the 
original triangles by placing a node at the edge midpoint. So you can see that nodes are placed at each edge midpoint and then triangles are defined using those newly placed nodes and the original vertices of the triangle to create these refined elements. If I turn on layer two, you can see that it refines it even further. And now you can start to see what I mean by it retains the same character. It basically takes the existing elements and just subdivide, subdivide, subdivide. So you still get the same character. And again, if we had turned on smoothing, these nodes would be allowed to migrate a little bit and it would look quite a bit different than this. But you can see that placing it in, uh, placing each refined domain in its own layer is really nice because you can toggle them on and off. Now, these domains are 100% constrained to the underlying geometry that the original domain is constrained to, which is really nice as well. Now, let's go ahead and undo that and let's rerun the script. We'll select domain two again, and let's choose refine it element centroids instead. And again, we're gonna create refine entities in empty layers, click okay. And you can see that in layer number one, this new domain was created, and this is what it means to refine by placing a node at the element centroid. Uh, you can see a node is placed there, and then edges are created by connecting to the uh, original triangle vertices. And you can see that for T-Rex style meshes where we're using anisotropic stretching to resolve high curvature, it kind of creates elements that are of relatively poor quality. And I wouldn't recommend using it for situations like this. I, I would recommend using the original technique where we're refining by placing nodes along edges, existing edges. And that is how you use this unstructured domain refinement script to create uniformly refined unstructured domains. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which I'll link in the description. Thank you all very much.